In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload PowerStore to your live web server so that you can start setting up your online store. Here on my desktop is the PowerStore 4 zip file that I downloaded from the WebSys Download Center. If you haven't yet downloaded this file, go to WebSys.com and log in to access your download center and view all the files that you can download. So once you've downloaded the zip file, if you're on a Windows machine, you can right click on the file and choose Extract All. So first you're asked where you want to extract the files to. I'm going to I'm going to leave this to extract the files to my desktop into a PowerStore 400 folder. So once you've specified the location, choose Extract. So once the files have finished extracting, you'll have a PowerStore folder on your desktop which contains all the files for PowerStore to run. If you're a Mac user, instead of right-clicking and choosing Extract All, simply double-click on the zip file and it'll automatically extract to the same lo to the same location as a zip file. So once you've done that, the next step is to upload these files to your server. So there are a variety of tools that you can use to upload files to your website. I'm going to show you one example, which is probably the most common example, which is FTP. Now, you, in order to do this, you're going to need your FTP settings that you can obtain from your hosting provider. It's also important to note that most hosting providers also provide tools for uploading files to the server. So you may want to see what, your, what is provided by your hosting provider to determine what's the best choice for you. So for this example, I'm going to use FileZilla, which is an FTP program that I use on, the, on a Windows machine. And I've already gone ahead and entered the credentials that I obtained from my hosting provider, and, and I've logged in. So my hosting provider is DreamHost, and the way DreamHost works is they give you some, by default, you get a few, a few different directories. The first directory, yourbluesky.com, is my domain, so you, you will have one for whatever domain you use. Um, and then the other two are used for other purposes. Now, because I want PowerStore to be the site for yourbluesky.com, I'm going to upload all the PowerStore files to the yourbluesky directory. So I'm going to open this directory. <clears throat> and with that directory open, I'm also going to open the folder that contains my PowerStore files that I just extracted. I'm going to press Control A to select all, and I'm going to upload all those files to the yourbluesky.com directory. So, so at this point, FileZilla is uploading all the PowerStore files to the appropriate location of my website. And once, this is, and once the upload is complete, I'm going to be able to go to my browser and enter yourbluesky.com, and I'll actually be able to start the process of installing PowerStore. Once FileZilla is finished uploading your files, you're going to want to navigate to your website. So I'm going to enter the URL for my website. And the very first time I try to access the website, because I haven't yet installed PowerStore, I'm directed straight to the PowerStore installation wizard. So that's it. You've uploaded PowerStore, and you can proceed with the installation wizard to get PowerStore up and running and start selling online. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos on how to use the installation wizard and also how to populate your product catalog.